good day. The state television campaign of Western Armenia represents the most important news for today. today's broadcast. Abu president called on the USA to achieve the release of the leadership of Artsakh, illegally detained in Azerbaijan. Students of Kirans will go to school 40 meters from the new border. Some parents are concerned about security. Tarek Zia Ekinjian in 1915, Legion Armenians. Son of Western Armenia, photographer Yusuf Karsh. Million viewers learned about the 44th day war, Anahid Boyajan. Baku banned past deputies who voted against the delegation from entering its territory. The ballot anthems will be presented, dedicated to the 155th anniversary of Komitas Svartabet. President of Agbu, Perch Setragian, appealed to the U.S. Secretary of State to Antony Blinken, calling for the release of Armenian prisoners illegally held in Azerbaijan and, in particular, the release of the former leadership of the Republic of Artsakh. In his letter, published on the Agbu website, the head of the organization reminded Antony Blinken on his own appeal to the President of Azerbaijan, Ilham Aliyev, which was as follows. To honor their international and human rights obligations and release all those unjustly detained as soon as possible before the COP29 climate conference in Baku. It is important to note that we have not heard any news about the imminent release of Armenian prisoners, including eight former members of the Artsakh nagorno karabakh government who were arrested while trying to flee the country along with more than 120,000 Armenians after the Azerbaijan army attacked last September. Three former presidents of the Republic, Alay Kaetunyan, Bago Sahagyan, Argat Yagukasyan, as well as other former officials, David Babayan, Levon Manatakanyan, David Ishkanyan, and David Manukyan, were arrested on the same day. And that's in addition to the former state minister from Ruben Vartanyan, a former Agbu board member and a leading philanthropist who has done much for Armenia, emphasized Perch Setrakyan in his letter. On to September, students of Kirans will go to a school located about 40 meters from the new border. That was journalist Oskan Sarkisyan touched upon this question. He wrote, Vlodja Babinian, the headmaster of the primary school of Kirans village, said that the construction works of the village school are nearing completion. The internal finishing work of the building have been completed. Exterior finishing works are underway. The school director expressed hope that on 2 September, the students of Kiran's village will go to school separated from the newly formed border by a road and a wall, which is about 40 meters from the border. Babinian said that some parents of students are concerned about the safety of the school because the former school building is in a state of disrepair. I asked him about giving School of Kirans the status of secondary school. The director advised that there must be an order from the Ministry of Education of Science, Culture and Sports to do so. In the new school here, 38 students from the village of Kirans will attend the new 100 seat schools. Tarek Zia Ekinji's book, Memories from Lige to Paris, published by Iletishim Published House in 2010, also includes important testimonies of the Armenians of Lige and the Arbeki of Tigran Akert about the event that took place in 1915 and after. He was elected as a Tayar Pekir deputy for the Turkish Labour Party in 1965, and he was also a member of the Turkish Medical Association's Supreme Council of Honor. He was charged under Article 142 drop one of the Turkish General Court for promoting Kurdism and sentenced to three years of the Arabic military prison where he was detained for two years. He has been arrested five times since the 12th September in 1980. Tarek Ziya Ekinci, one of the important figures of Turkish socialist movement and the struggle for the rights of the Kurdish people, has died at the age of 1990. Yusuf Karsh was a renowned portrait photographer. Yusuf Karsh was born in 1908 in the city of Mardan, which is located in Western Armenia. Yusuf survived the genocide committed against Armenians and he said that he saw his relatives being killed. His family sent him to Canada to live with his uncle. Karsh spent the rest of his life in Ottawa. His uncle gave Yusuf his first camera and sent him off to study Armenian photographer John Caro, where he perfected the art of photography and then began working independently. Yusuf Carr's work includes portraits of Winston Churchill, Ernest Hemingway, Major Teresa, Walt Disney, Andre Hepburn, Muhammad Ali, Fidel Castro, and Waft Eisenhower. 
French Armenian singer Anna Hidboyajan spoke about the Armenian and the 44-day war using her experience of participating in the French music project, The Voice, as an example. Anna admits that since childhood she wanted to participate in this contact, but she did not decide which song to perform. However, in early 2021, during the Artsakh war, Anna decided to take part in the project and sing in Armenia to express her anger and frustration. Her song touched and interested millions of people, including 7 million viewers who started asking questions about Armenia. Anna says that many people in France had no idea what was happening in Armenia, and her Armenian version created a big furor by reporting on the war. The persons who voted against the Azerbaijan delegation to the peace were included in the list of persona non grata. Under the restoration of the mandate of Azerbaijan delegation to the peace, these persons are banned from entering the territory of Baku, said the head of the press service of the Baku Foreign Ministry, Ayhan Hajizadeh, commenting on the statement of MP Frank Schwabe. In this regard, Hajizadeh noted political stability in progress in Baku. He added that Baku's step to occupy Artsakh, which he called liberation, as well as Azerbaijan's independent policy, don't correspond to the insidious intention of personalities like Schwabe. Earlier, Schwabe said that Baku has been bribing peace deputies for years and should release political prisoners. A premiere dedicated to the 155th anniversary of Komitas Vartapet will take place on the stage of the Alexander Spenderian National Academic Opera and Ballet Theatre. On 26th and on 27th September, the National Academic Opera and Ballet Theatre will present Home Ballet. The flickering candlelight outlines mystery shadow figures. Antoni is thankful. How to revive the notches, how to bring the musical works of his ancestors to life, describes the opera from the Opera and Ballet Theatre. Composer Edgar Hovanisian, musical director and conductor Karen Durgarian, chronographer Maxim Martirosian, restoration ballet master Susanna Martirosian, production designer Minas Avetisian, restoration designer Narek Avetisian. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.